Aquarius on Any Rose for Psychic Future. This is your horoscope from the 11th to the 17th of November. So this week we still have got Mercury Retrograde going on. I know that it has been a tough one for a lot of people. Um, so basically what has been happening is it's in Scorpio. So it's quite an intense combination. It's like bringing up emotions and then like contributing with our thoughts like um, overthinking, negative thinking, worrying, trust issues, um, you know, all these kind of problems that make you go, oh, like too much thoughts. Um, this coupled with this emotional energy can be a little bit much. So you will be happy to hear that this week it's gonna down it's gonna die down a little bit because the moon will be in Taurus where it really likes to be. It feels very grounded and safe. Safe is a really, really good word to use this week because essentially this Mercury retrograde energy can make us feel a little bit unsafe because we're like, oh I'm worried what's coming next. I'm thinking about what I should say, I'm thinking about what I should do. Um, with the moon in Taurus, it's going to be trying Saturn and Pluto. It's encouraging us to um, grow up a little bit and to get organised and to take responsibility for those emotions, take responsibility for the, those thoughts. By the end of the week, we will have um, a water grand trine. This is in uh, between the moon, Neptune and Mercury in retrograde. This is encouraging us to um, actually allow those emotions to come up and to say, okay, well, what are they trying to teach me? How do I feel about that? What do I need to do about that? But in a really kind of compassionate way, there is no action involved in this. It is literally just about looking at what you are um, experiencing, looking at what you're feeling, and then intuitively trying to figure out what you can do about that. Um, so it's kind of a little bit of a challenge for you, Aquarius, but I think that it'll be a really nice week if you can just kind of sit back and you know, take the necessary steps, but also be very, very kind and gentle to yourself. And then things will start to fall into place and you'll understand why you've needed to go through this process recently. So that is all. I hope you have a lovely one and I will see you next time.